Okay, so we have our user interface pretty much done here. One more thing I'm going to add, which is going to be a text view below here. Okay, so let's go back down here. I'm going to find a text view. There it is. I'm going to put right below there. And I'm going to give this an ID, of course. Call this guide text or txt. Maybe that's better. And of course, we're going to give it a color. That one text color. In fact, let's give it white. And I'm going to give a size. size that is let's see maybe eighteen okay I'm gonna say text and I'm gonna give a text that says breathe to begin with be bold. All right, that's very good. So we have our user interface pretty much done. Now it's time for us to move on to, now it's time for us to go ahead and start animating things here. Now it's time for us to start animating our application. Obviously the idea here is to have this kind of animation here as they start breathing, start their exercise. And the ultimate goal of course is to each time they start their breathing exercise, once the minute's up, we are going to stop and then we are going to populate here as, at the top with all of the stats, meaning how many breaths they've done today, when was the last one they did, and how many minutes they've done today. Okay. Very nice. So there is a few things we can do. There's a lot of different ways in which we can actually animate and rotate and do all this animation with our image view. So, but because I want to simplify the work, I want to introduce to you the other possibilities of using libraries that people have created. We are not going to do all the work ourselves. So we are going to find a library that will help us animate our views. In this case, animate our image view here, okay, and text as well. So what I'm going to do uh, in, I did some research, of course. So one of the things you can always do, whatever you're building your applications is you can always <laughs> use Google, which is what I recommend uh, and search, you can say, for instance, li Android library for animations, something like that. Okay. And I found one, this one here is from in the in GitHub. Uh, it's Florent 37 view animator. So this is what we're going to be using for our, using in our application. And the cool thing is you can see that this person is fairly active. Okay, it says light latest commit was 17 days ago. So that's really, really good. Okay, of course, the earlier, the better, but 17 days ago, it's pretty good. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. It says here is a fluent Android animation library. And there's code that you can download and look at it. But what we're interested in is to look how it's used and how we can actually take advantage of it. It says here usage, you can just literally create a view animator object and you can pass the image in this case that you want to animate. Translation Y, direction, right, down up and down direction, the alpha, how opaque or uh, visible the image is going to be. You can also at the same time animate text and do all sort of things, all right? Whenever I look at a library, I usually I test it out myself. So you would create your own project and just test it out just to see how it works and change these values, come into certain fields and just see how things work. Yeah, that's always a good idea because then you can uh, get a feel of this library, of the library that you're trying to learn about. And the nice thing also you can see here, he they have um, a GIF that shows you the animation that we just created at the top here. Okay, and of course you can also create uh, your animator uh, using the animator set if you would like, so different ways to create animations and so much more. Okay.
Now, we scroll down here. I want to figure out, okay, how do I then get this to work on my project? Well, funny you ask, at the bottom here, there is this compile that we can add into our build.gradle. So we can copy this. And we can go to our build.gradle. And this one, the app one. And at the bottom here, we can just paste it in and sync our project. All right, once our project synced, we should be all the way all good to go. And I always like to do a little test here. So I go ahead and say, for instance, view animator. And you notice there are different view animators that come with Android, but you want to make sure you get this one here, which says GitHub Florent 37. And you know this because you go back to our GitHub here, you notice this is indeed Florent 37. Okay, that's Florent 37. Okay, so that's very important. Otherwise, if you use a different one, then you're going to get into issues. So save the animator. There it is, Florent. And let's go ahead and perhaps copy just for us to see how this works. I'm going to copy all of this and just paste it in here. And of course, it will ask us to import that. That's no problem. I'm going to go ahead and say Alt Enter and it imported. Now let's make sure that it imported what we wanted to import. Exactly, it did. It says GitHub, Florent 37, View Animator. Now notice we have a problem here with image because we haven't created the actual image. Well, simply for now, we can go ahead at the top here. I'm going to say private image view. I want to call that image. Let's just call image view for now. And I'm going to instantiate it here. I'm going to say image view, find by ID, r.id, that image view. I think that's what we call. What do we call? Let's make sure that we have a, a meaningful name. Ah, called image view. Let's just give it a more uh, meaningful name. Let's say Lotus image. Doesn't matter. I'm going to say yes. There we go. It even changed for us. Okay. Now that we have our image view instantiated, I'm going to just pass it here. And let's see what's going to happen if we run this app. Ah, cannot find symbol variable image, right? Because we have other things here. I'm going to just comment this out for all of these. Uh, this one, I'm just going to add the image view as well. Because there's different animations we can use and we can pass the same view and that's all good. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah, look at that. Okay, now let's play around with this a little bit, right? So you notice it came down and then pulsated once. Let's see what, where can we change the value so that we can have different outcome. Let's go back here. Let's say if we want to duration to be more than one second, right? This is in milliseconds, so a thousand milliseconds would be one second. Let's say if we actually want, um, let's say two milliseconds, so longer. Let's see if what's going to happen. Let's run this. There we go, came down, back. Okay, the other thing we can do, let's see, I want, for instance, to say dot, Right. If you put dot, you can actually start seeing other things you can do. Let's say I wanted to rotate. So rotation, let's say I want this to be 270 degrees. Let's run and see. Look at that. Ah, very nice. You see, that was very simple. All we had to do was instantiate our view animator from the library and start putting all the fields that we want, all the properties. Okay. And again, remember, you don't have to memorize anything, you can always come back to the documentation and you can see all the other things you can do with your image. Okay, and so that's exactly how I learn about new libraries and new images. Okay, new libraries in Android. All right, let's see what else can we do. Let's say we want this to say dot Let's see if there's a way we can actually repeat 
let's see so there oh there is repeat count let's say we want this to repeat three times in this case it's going to be four times because it counts from zero through three right because it's all saved into an array let's see so counts down one two three and four there we go and stopped remember this starts from zero like i said that's why it goes four times because it counts from zero one two three which is going to be four times all right very nice so essentially we have the basis of what we want our application to do which is we want it to actually be able to pulsate and rotate because that's the idea if you go back to our apple watch here it's not going to be 100 percent like that but you get the idea all right very cool all right so in the next video now that we have um, our animator view animator library set up we will be ready for us to start getting all of these text views and so forth and start putting together the animation and wire everything up and we'll do that in the next video